Yo, what's good, y'all? We back in here with another video. And we're going to be talking about a relatively hot topic. Brand new, basically. It, ha it just happened literally like a few hours ago. And that is the John Moran news. He is out for the rest of the series, most likely the rest of the postseason, with a bone bruise. And obviously, that stemmed from when he got hurt in Game 4 with that knee injury, when they said it was right knee soreness. People still really don't know what happened as to why he got hurt. Some say it was Jordan Poole reaching for the ball and then kind of like tugged at his knee. Don't really believe that because I don't think Jordan Poole put that much force on his knee to injure it. And some say it was when he banged knees with Klay Thompson in the third quarter off a jump shot contest that he made. That makes more sense. But the main point of this video is I think the Memphis Grizzlies should be slightly, not major, but slightly concerned with John Morant's long-term health and his injuries. Because all his injuries in his career have been leg injuries, lower body injuries. And we all know, special player, special talent. But he's also a special athlete. And he relies on that rare athleticism to be the player that he is. Without the athleticism, there is no John Morant, there is no MVP candidate. He's not that guy. But the thing is, we've seen this story so many times not to be concerned for his future because... If you look at recent history with other super athletic point guards, they all end up hurt at one point in their career, whether it's for a small period of time or a significant amount of time. You know, you look at John Wall. He missed like an eternity. He missed like two years, it felt like, or I think it actually was two years off of his injuries. Then obviously the most famous example being Derrick Rose, who, yeah, he's blossomed into a new player and he's still good, still impactful, but clearly... When he came back in 2014, just wasn't the same as he was pre-injuries. But what I do think Ja can do, kind of like how Derrick Rose did, is, and JJ Reddick said this on first take on Monday, evolve his game a little bit more, start working on those jump shots, so that he doesn't have to rely on going up on these seven-footers every single time, because that's wear and tear on your body every time you do that. That's wear and tear. He's such a small guard compared to those guys, that's definitely wear and tear on his body. And I think we can all agree we would all love to watch Ja have a great career. It would definitely suck if his career got affected by injuries. We don't want him to be another guy that, you know, 30 years old and he's another has-been star player. And I think the Grizzlies should keep an eye on this. Try to monitor it a little bit, have him work on his game, or he should just work on his game himself. You know, work on his jump shots, work on things that other things on the offensive side of the ball that can keep him from doing the doing the things he does at that high volume so that he can stay healthy and play these games these big time games and not deal with injuries because he's been out with knee a knee injury some sort of knee injury on multiple occasions this year more specifically he had the same right knee soreness that he had now back in March and he missed like three weeks he also had injured his ankle last season versus the Nets, and that made him miss some games as a result. That was more of a freak accident, though. And injuries happen. We're not going to sit here and act like, you know, sometimes freak injuries don't happen because they do. And obviously, to those people that are saying that he should just change his game fully, that's not going to happen. You're not just going to change your game after making it to the NBA and having the success he's had. It's not going to happen like that. But what he can do is evolve his game over time, try to do other things. Because think about this, how many times do we see Ja on the ground because he's always on the attack and he's so aggressive going up on these seven footers like that. All it takes is one wrong landing and he can be out for a long period of time. Even a season if he goes and it's one wrong landing. Because to do what he does puts so much pressure, especially on his lower body. Ja Morant's one of the most elite point guards in the game, but he's also one of the most athletic point guards we've ever seen he's such a rarity in that aspect but that's the only thing that scares me about him is hey what's so what's positive about him can also potentially be a negative for the long term of his career and his long-term future of being that same exact player can be in jeopardy with one injury the man is only in year three and he's dealing with knee injuries he hasn't even played 70 games one time in his career and I, he did play like 60-something last year, but that was a 72-game season, so I'll give him a pass for that one. But the injuries are happening. The injuries are happening, and yeah, they're minor now, 
but rather you rather if you're the Grizzlies try to contain it now so that it doesn't just completely unravel in the future and next thing you know your star player is just never the same guy and then it just ruins their whole rebuild or not even a rebuild it just ruins what they have we all love watching Ja we cannot let's not lose Ja you know a great career like he has going on right now like we had Derrick Rose and Brandon Roy and all those guys that got hurt we don't want to see that and let's just hope that he can stay healthy because John Moran's a special player, special talent, and it would definitely suck to see a guy's career go down with the way other guys' careers have gone down. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. If you want to check out my other Grizzlies video that I made on the timeline for their rebuild, you can check that out also in the description below. This has been The Checkup, where we talk hoops and hoops only. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.